to Feather Adventures with me, Squishy! And in today's video, we are going to be making something brand new. And oh, I actually thought that the Petal Pinky Palace was on fire then! That really scared me! It was just the meanie beanie burning on the top of it! That really, really scared me then! What would we do if we just came out on the balcony and the whole of Feather Adventures was on fire? Because the majority of it is made out of wood and leaves. I mean, that's not a that's not a good material to be out of. Anyway, today we're going to be making something brand new and hello my animals! How are you all doing today? Let's go and give you your num nums because I can't wait to just start building today. Uh, we're going to be building something really fun. And tilt! Oh! And tilt! And tilt, and tilt. So there you go, waddles. There you go, puddles. There you go, Dovey. There you go, Peep. There you go, Nibbles. And there you go, feathers. Have a nice day, my animals. I'm gonna go over to the feather room as well to see who we're having today. And yes, so today we're gonna be building something really, really cool. And that cool thing is going to be an indoor swimming pool because we've got a lot of outdoor swimming pools. I mean, the whole world is pretty much an outdoor swimming pool. Um, and I thought we need like some kind of indoor swimming pool with like locker rooms and stuff. We just go have a nice little leisurely swim. So today to the feather the friends pond I am adding Sadie and the reason why I'm adding you Sadie is because you sent me a picture on my Facebook page of a key ring that you made and it's a squishy key ring and I think it looks awesome I don't know if it's made out of clay or something but it just looks so so cute um so yeah thank you for sending me the picture Sadie and welcome to the feather friends pond you can have a swim in here anytime you like right then off we go to feed our bunnies we need to do our morning bunny feeding duties and uh, then we can go and grab our things today out of things for today check and yes, just get building. And today, we're building in a place that, I don't know, it's just a weird place to build. But because it's a weird place to build, there's just a giant gap there. And I thought we could just fill in the gap there. And I think it looked really cool. And here you go, Abby Bunny. Off you go. You hop uh, hop around and go for a nice little read like you usually do every morning. And uh, now I'm going to go over to my crazy bunny and uh, get the materials from her. And uh, yeah, so today we're going to be building out of the, the normal materials. We're going to be building out of spruce wood. Uh, we're going to be building out of oak wood. And I th and we got like birch wood for like the floor on the inside. Um, I don't know how much we're gonna get done today because um, I don't know how big this whole area is going to be. Like we're um, yeah, like how big the, the place is gonna be. And there's our crazy bunny. Uh, today it's cobblestone. By the looks of it, is our item of the day. And we've also got some glowstone and some glass and stuff, just in case we have time to fill in any glass and stuff. And uh, yeah, here you go, my crazy bunny. And boop, crazy bunny. Crazy bunny, off you go. Okay, you you go and do that then. You go and do that. And uh, yeah, I did actually, I was really torn to where to build this today. I was going to build over here. Uh, and I was like that because it seemed like feather fun. I was like, oh, it'd be fun to build a swimming pool in feather fun. But then there's like a gap. And I don't even, I think it's, yeah, there, there it is. This gap right here. And uh, it's just annoying. So I thought like we can fill that in with a lovely indoor swimming pool. And I can't wait to build this. So let's go over there right now. Um, I've dug out the mountain a little bit more. I think I can go this way actually. Yeah, I've dug out the mountain a tiny little bit more. I'm going the most awkward way, aren't I? This is actually a really awkward way. No, I'm happy with it. Uh, yeah, and here it is. It's like it's like a, it looks like a chair to me for some reason like those are the two arms and the back of it um yeah so i've dug away a little bit this a chunk of mountain because what i was thinking of doing was how about if the water supply came from a waterfall from the top of the mountain so there's like a little area if you can see up there which i've dug out a tiny bit and uh, water's gonna drop in to the actual swimming pool from the outside like i think that's so cool and i can't wait to do that uh, but first we need to get building so i thought what we could do which is different to what we use usually have um is actually having like i don't know like a little outdoor garden area like a kind of like a little zen area i thought because i think that's just gonna be so nice to have um anyway so if i just go and break away all these flowers go away flowers and also this fence here because we're gonna be replacing this uh with a different kind of fence so we've got a few spruce fences here and uh, yeah so we're gonna make like a little garden area which i think will be really cool um and this is where the building should start i guess like about here-ish maybe um i don't know what material we're gonna stop building up yet but we'll find out very soon enough so uh that goes like that then i suppose what we could do is have like a little um have just like poles going up a little bit as well i'm just gonna go and break this away and replace this with let's let's replace it with this orange tulip there we go and uh, also if i'm just gonna go and grab let's go and grab a few like pieces of spruce um wood planks there and i'm just gonna go and pop these like on top of each and every one so it's kind of like uh like a modern swimming pool like a modern swimming baths area um and i think it's 
it's gonna be it's like a spa really more than anything now i think about it it's gonna be like a spa and um i suppose that we can like imagine that the the water coming from the mountain is like a hot spring uh that would be quite a nice thing to think about um and i just thought i wonder if i could just go and get some leaves from somewhere because i think leaves would be a nice um a nice addition to this place and there's loads of birch trees over here um so i might as well just go and grab some leaves from this place there we go and uh, how many did i get there i got 20 there that's plenty enough there and uh, yeah, we could have this going like, I don't know, just like across the middle section here. Uh, like the entrance part just has those, I think would be nice. Um, I'm just going to light this up a little bit too. If we just go and add a bunch of torches like that. Uh, I'm just going to go and break away this fence here. And we could place this. Let's replace this one with a the poppy. There we go. Just like, boop, like that. That would be really cool. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go and light up this area. I think these look really cool as well because they're just like, they're just different kind of lights, aren't they? We have a lot of uh, just on fence pole lights around feather adventures and um, i think that really makes a really nice addition to it so uh at the front i thought maybe having like just like miniature little ponds uh like either side of course i'm gonna go with ponds i'm a duck i need as many ponds as i can um and i'm just gonna go and dig out that area there and then i'm just gonna go and uh place down gravel uh just like that and if we just go like that way there we go that would look really cool um and then if i just go and dig this away and then plant a few of these birch leaves like in here here so the birch leaves are going to actually be like in the water which i think will be really nice and uh, do we have any water nearby um yeah i think that giant waterfall would give us enough water <laughs> uh, right now so let's just go and grab some of this water here uh i know no i'm stuck now aren't i, I need to go all the way around see it's such like a big area feather away. i don't realize because i've lived here for so long now but it is such a big place you have to travel so far just to get anywhere but i'm really happy like it's growing so well uh, okay, so over here now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make like a just a miniature like unlimited water source if we can. Um, so just like that, um, because we will need waters for the actual swimming pool too. Um, but yeah, I just need to go and fit in all of this like that. Uh, I'm just gonna grab a little bit more water, just pick up that dirt on the inside too. And uh, yeah, there we go. That is pretty much our our outside I don't know pond area done. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna decorate the front door area. So what we're gonna to do with this is we're gonna go and pile up by two um as we go along and I guess what we could do is like do a pattern as we go too. So I'm just going to go and make a load of these oak wood planks. Um, I'm also going to make loads of spruce planks as well because I think they're going to look really nice too. Um, and yeah, if I just go and grab the spruce wood as well, there we go. And if I have it so the oak wood's like, um, right, if we have it so the spruce wood is like uh, knocking it off here a little bit, uh, just like a little corner area. So I'm just going to go and break this a second. I'm also going to go and break this fence and replace that with a dandelion. There we got like loads of spaces for dandelions there and uh, yeah so that's just gonna go like that i suppose what we could do is if we have like two pieces of oak wood there and then have like the oak wood planks on the top oh no let's not do oak wood planks let's do the the spruce planks because they're darker and they look like really cool anyway um and yeah we can just go and fill this in here i suppose we could like change that to glass if we want to another time uh, but for now i think that looks really really nice um i'm gonna go up by two on this side as well or shall we go one more i suppose what we could do is just break away this piece of ground here i know what you're thinking you're not gonna see it if it's like against the wall like that but you will kind of see it from the inside i mean the corners you won't um but as you like go higher up i guess you see it more so now what we're going to do is if we're just going to go over this way by one and two like that and then we're going to go all the way to this back corner and uh, just go all the way around and fill in all the corners. I think that's the best way to do this just so we know where we're actually building from and uh, where we want to go next. So if we go one, two like this, uh, then that's going to go and cut off that bit. But I'm just going to go and line this up like that. So it's, it's a pretty odd shape. But I really like it. I think this is a cre a, a, like a crazy shape, which is always a nice thing to have. Crazy shapes are always welcome here. So let's just go and place these down. I suppose what we could do here as well is have like a little window. Um, but if I just go and fill in all the oak wood on the base first and go all the way around doing that, uh, then this is going to be built quite quickly. So uh, now I just need to go next and do the oak wood. Just make sure it all lines up nicely. And yeah, I was thinking of the floor in this place. Because that the outside is so dark, you know, because all the wood is like... Like really really darkly colored uh what we're gonna do is on the inside have like birch uh, birch wood planks on the floor but then around the pool area have like uh just normal birch wood so it's like really well like well lit up i think would look really cool um but yeah look at this it's like the entrance oh this is so awesome i'm really happy about this um i suppose what we could do 
is break away this area here and fill it in with the light stained glass just on the one side like on the inside seeing as there's like like no middle and i kind of still want to keep the the planks there we could just do that look at that that's so cool i'm really excited about this now it looks so nice and uh, it's gonna get dark very very soon i do have a bed on me i also have my trusty uh, chests and uh, crafting table on me which i will put outside this area here because i have to have you know like extra storage because I do fill up my inventory quite full when um yeah when I'm building so can I go to sleep now please yeah okay so uh, now in the morning what we're gonna do is just place down loads of spruce wood uh spruce wood planks I should say uh, just around the outside area and I suppose we could like add an addition of the the glass in the middle of each part as well would look quite cool I suppose this could be the changing rooms actually so you wouldn't need the glass there well we'll think about it when we get to it but uh, at the moment I think it looks really really cool so I'm just gonna go one two like that and I suppose we could have one two three pieces of glass there even though there's dirt there the glass still makes it look a little bit nicer um, so here is about where the water comes in so if we have it coming in from the, those three blocks there uh what i would need to do is just dig out this like that um and then hopefully the water will like flow evenly down into there um i hope it will anyway i'm pretty sure um it will be absolutely fine but uh just to double check uh we're just gonna go and dig out this area here just so it like flows nice and evenly um and yeah i suppose at the top part we could have it like i don't know bending into the shape because when you have it like too evenly cut like that sometimes it just ends up looking odd so uh anyway that that is where the swimming pool is gonna be i love this so much i love just decorating and thinking of ideas like that it's just so much fun so now we're just gonna go and look at this side and make sure it all lines up nicely so we're gonna have one two three on that side as well what we could do is behind that just have um just have glowstone like behind the glass i think that would look cool because otherwise it's just gonna be grass isn't it and we can always just go and pile on top of that uh with because we need to do a roof as well so i'm not too worried about that either um and yeah on top of the glowstone you won't be able to to see it because it'll be uh just have like uh the, the staircases on top for the roof and look at that that actually looks really really cool because it's um i don't know it's just like a natural a natural way to have light come in it's just through the windows so that makes a lot of sense right then let's go and carry on over here and my words are messing up so much today aren't they i'm really sorry about that some days they're good most days they're bad so i have to put up with that i'm sorry about it so let's just go and have a look at this so far and just have a look at the overall shape and i think it looks so cool already and i think we need to do like maybe uh just just one layer of uh stairs around the outside uh just this episode just so we can like have a look at what it looks like and uh for that let's let's use some um the oak wood planks because we haven't really used many of the oak wood planks yet and i think that would make uh the roof just look a little bit different to the rest of the build um, so I'm just gonna go and add these in and shall we have a glass roof as well? Usually I don't really go for that kind of thing, but or oh, maybe instead of having a glass roof because this is quite a natural build um, We could have like a different kind of material. We could have um, like fences or something because fences would make it look really cool Right, I'm gonna use glass just to waste uh, Material there and then we're just gonna go around like this and hopefully oh wait Let's just go. Uh, let's just go build around the whole outside with oak wood shall we and then that's gonna make it really easy for us to just place down um, Yeah, place down the stairs because we struggle a lot with stairs. Well, I certainly do anyway. I definitely struggle with put, uh, putting stairs down. Uh, so the, for this area here, I need to like leave open a little bit. I oh, know I don't because the water's going to be like flowing under in, into uh, into it that way, isn't it? So it should be okay if we just go and place down all of this. And this is such a big build. I didn't realize I haven't built something this big in ages, have I? So let's just go around this way then. And I love how it's just like really low down on this. Look at this. It's actually just like on the floor level here that is so cool it's so different to like what we've uh, built like in the past which i'm happy with uh, and do we have some dirt on us yeah we have loads of dirt so i can actually go and just fill in that bit there just to cover it all up a little bit and uh, for here i suppose i could just go and uh, dig into the side of the mountain i don't mind doing that i think it'll look uh, nice if we just do it that way anyway instead of just like putting it on the top or something i think if we it looks like it's kind of like built into the side of the mountain doesn't it i like that about this this is awesome so now we're just going to go along this way leave that gap open so the water can flow through and stairs no i knew it i knew it as soon as i started placing down the stairs i knew something was going to go wrong stairs are so difficult to place down you need to realize that i cannot place down stairs 
They are super, super difficult to place down sometimes. And they are my enemy. I feel like they're my enemy. I tried making up with them in the past. But, you know, they don't they don't cooperate with me, stairs don't. Look at that pig in there as well. Like, I think there's actually, like, a, there's a piggy house, isn't there, in my creation garden. So that's probably where he's come from. He's the pig in the creation garden house. Um, so, okay, right, let's go and make some of these stairs. There we go. I don't know why I'm struggling so much getting those um, anyway. But, yeah, I need to go and make some more. I only made eight there. But um, I just want to kind of finish off this little corner area here like that. There we go. And now I need to do the front of this place. And uh, look at this materials that looks so nice those uh, materials look really good together i think it's because they're all just wooden and i really like wooden materials so uh let's just go and fill in all of this here um i think i need to make a few more of these planks as well and probably only need a few more stairs i think that may be enough maybe not we'll have a look anyway um so i just gotta go like this and can i reach over there there's, there's like a fence in the way i know i put it there but it's really in the way uh yeah i do definitely need to make some uh a few more stairs while i'm here as well um but yeah i only need like three more oh that means i'm gonna have one left over that's so annoying it's okay it's okay i can use that for something i could use it for like um like probably like chairs around the pool or something so I, I don't like wasting materials i hate the weight of wasting materials i always try and use like as much as i can um and uh, yeah there we go look at that that looks so cool Okay, right now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to start digging out a little bit of the entrance here. And uh, yeah, what we need to do is we need to go and make a load of these into... I'm not going to make all of it, but I'm going to make loads of these into the wooden planks. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to go and place these down like that on the entrance. And then we can just do the door. Because I think as soon as the door's done, it feels like a finished build. Even though it's not a finished build, it just feels like it, okay? So, and uh, there we go. So that's the, the doorway outside there. And uh, this is the build so far. What do you think? I mean, it's, it's looking, it's looking quite nice. Um, we did a lot today, actually, to, to think about it. Uh, okay, so let's go and finish off this roof as much as we can. Uh, we can probably just go and use some of this spruce wood, actually, and uh, make those all into stairs. Uh, I'm going to make a few more, actually. And, yeah, we're going to make all this into stairs, and that can be, like, the second layers of stairs. I don't like using the same material on, like, the roof. Uh, you know how some people are just like, they just do one layer of oak wood, then they do a second layer of oak wood. I kind of want to just go and use as many different ones as I can, um, because it just breaks it up a little bit as well. And oh no, I've made loads! I didn't realise there was like a whole stack of spruce wood there. Never mind! Oh, I, I suppose I'll have to use it now. I think I will anyway, so it's not too bad. Let's just go and jump up here. There we go. And pick up these flowers too. And now this wood is here as well. It's going to make it a lot easier for me to place down the stairs. And I say that, and I'm probably going to place it down wrong because stairs are evil and they're meanie beanies and I can't place them down properly but I seem to be on a roll actually at the moment I seem to be placing down these pretty quickly let's go let's go let's go oh okay that was too fast then I kind of slipped up a tiny bit then but I'm still doing one on the stairs and as soon as I say that I place one down wrong I knew that was gonna happen I was trying to rush it then oh okay be careful do not fall down do not fall down oh dear okay let's just go and break this away there we go and I can't wait to have the to see like the water flowing in from the top of the mountain and like into the actual swimming pool i think that's just gonna look beautiful either way it's really gonna look so so nice um okay so let's go and have a look at this and shall we just finish off with a with another layer of oak wood maybe do one more there I think that would be quite nice. I don't know if I have enough, though. Let's just go and make all of this into these and uh, make a load of stairs as well. And if I don't have enough, then it's it's not too big of a deal. I mean, how much do we have on us at the moment? We have 29, 33. I think that might be... Yeah, I, I don't know if that's going to be enough or not, but we can have a look anyway. Look at the layers as well. This is going to be quite um quite a low ceiling by the looks of it as well, which could be quite, uh, quite pretty. Uh, so now let's go... What do we have a lot of? We have a lot of spruce... So shall we go and grab the spruce and just dot it all the way around here just so it's easier for us to balance on? I think that would be a nice thing to do just to make it easier for me to place down the stairs. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping that maybe we can have like just birch everywhere on the inside and have it really well lit up. Obviously, we have the glowstone as well to keep it well lit. Um, and yeah, I came up with an idea as well for, uh, for the inside and having like... Uh, 
you know, like the dressing rooms and also like lockers. And I thought the way we could use lockers is just have like dispensers with buttons like in a row. Um, I think that would make it look really cool as well. Uh, okay, so let's just go and place down as many as we can. Let's go, let's prioritize this area here, like the front area, just so we can see what it looks like. And then I can just finish off the roof just out of episode. Uh, so the next episode, we'll be able to just decorate the inside. And it's going to be so much fun. I can't wait for that because then that's when we actually make the swimming pool. Like the outside bit, I really enjoy decorating anyway, but I, I, the, the, my best bit is decorating the inside. That's my favorite part. And look at that. I mean, we ran out, <laughs> but apart from that, this place is looking so cool. I, especially like this front garden area. Maybe what we could do is add some, um, yeah, if we have like some dirt or sand in the middle, we can grow some sugar cane into it. Would look really, really cool. Uh, but apart from that, that is our swim indoor swimming pool area. Uh, almost complete. So in the next episode, as I said before, um, hopefully my my words do not mess up on me as much as they have in this episode uh, but yeah in the next episode we're going to be decorating the inside and uh, making the swimming pool and hopefully that water fountain at the back as well the, the waterfall would look really cool so thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video goodbye <laughs> Whee!